Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook ad for your chatbot. By the way, if you like videos on how to grow your customer list and build a real brand, then subscribe to my channel below as I have new videos each week. It's the Morning Marketing Machine, here to grow your e-commerce business with proven marketing strategies and tactics so you can run your business with machine-like precision. My name is Douglas Levin. Let's dive in. Hi. My name is Douglas Levin, and I built a 20,000 person messenger list ahead of the launch of our first product, which led to 20,000 in monthly sales within our first three months of launch. I also have a link to a free cheat sheet below with tips on how to take control over your e-commerce income. Have you ever thought how you'd like to start running Facebook ads, but you just didn't know how to get started? Or chatbots, they're just like way too complicated, so I don't even know where to begin. Or you've heard like it's changing all the time, so how will it how will I know this is even working? Well, chatbots are actually pretty simple to set up, and I'll walk you through exactly how to set up a Facebook ad. And so it starts chatbot as soon as the customer clicks. So no coding, nothing crazy, no tech knowledge is required. I'm gonna share my screen and I'll take you through that process. All right, so there's gonna be two parts um, to, to what I'm talking about here today. So the first part we're going to talk about is going to be in ManyChat. Uh, and then the second part is going to be in Facebook Business Manager. So for the first part, uh, we're, obviously, we're starting off in ManyChat. And say, so here's the page. And all I'm trying to do right now is set up whatever is going to go out to that Facebook ad prospect uh, as soon as they click. So in terms of understanding how this process is going to work, um, there, you're going to set up the ad. Right, um, so the Facebook ad is gonna go out to whoever you're gonna target, and they're gonna click on a button, and then from, once they click on that button, uh, they're now gonna be op, um, going to your ManyChat flow, which is what we're setting up right now, and then at that point, uh, they can opt in, so now they're your, your Messenger subscriber, and you can do whatever you're gonna do after that. Right, so in terms of that process, uh, I've kind of talked a little bit about it before, but there's there's so many different things uh, that you can do in ManyChat. I'm not really going to talk about that in this video here, um, but you can kind of like edit the flow. You can set up tags. Um, uh, you can create different actions. Um, you can kind of see here there's a growth tool um, if you wanted to do that. Um, what we're specifically going to talk about here is setting up like a flow, and then from there you're going to set up some keyword actions, All right? and that's how you're going to connect it um, uh, to the Facebook app. So if you're starting off from scratch, then you would go to the flows, and then you would do new flow, and at that point you would name it whatever you're going to. I just put it as test here, and then you, you see you go edit flow, and then at that point you're just gonna type in whatever you're gonna type in, uh, and you kinda just set that set. Um, so for this example, obviously, it's just to get you started. Uh, there's so many different things you can do. Obviously, you kind of see here, uh, there's a whole bunch of different options. If you wanted to do, say, a one-time notification, um, you want to do user input, all of these different things you can do. Um, so it's up to you. Um, and then over here, you kind of see other stuff like actions. If you want to tag people, like I was talking about, you want to set up a condition. Um, you want to start another flow, because um, uh, that's what this is, is a flow. Uh, so you kind of see automation and flows right here. Um, so there's all sorts of things you can do. It's really up to your imagination in terms of how you want to do it. Um, but so here's just saying, all right, this is the message they're going to get after they opt in. Um, so that's all I'm going to do when I'm going to hit publish, right? So next thing you want to do is you want to set up the keyword automation. And you're doing this um, to give you an idea. This is how the, it's going to connect Facebook and your business manager to ManyChat. Oh, and, and by the way, if you're liking any of this, then make sure to leave a like below. Um, so. Uh, you're going to go to automation and you're going to go to keywords, which is right here. And you, uh, you kind of see all this means is that when someone types in this keyword, that something will happen. So you can kind of see like these two, you can't stop them. It means that anybody, anytime that anybody in ManyChat will type start or subscribe, then they're going to be subscribed to your bot. And anytime that they put stop or unsubscribe, then it's going to prompt the unsubscribe from bot. Button. Right, so um, those have to be in there. Uh, everything else is up to you. So I put something usually in that says like, every time someone says thank you, I'll, I'll have a flow that basically says you're welcome. 
or something like that. Or like I put one together. Um, I think uh, like another time I was doing a video, this is like, yes, I want to win, I like some giveaway, and then here's a contact template. Right? Um, so it's basically just saying when they type in this keyword or when they click on uh, a, like a button, it, as we're going to show you um, in, in Facebook Business Manager, then something will happen. So I'm going to go back to this flow, right? So it was just test. So that's what I want to be the reply. Um, so I'm starting with automation, then I'm going to keyword, and I'm doing a new keyword. And then I'm setting up keyword messenger. Uh, and that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is if you go back to that flow. So I go back, to, and this was test, right? So I'm going to edit the flow. And this is something that, that they've done now is you can add the trigger. And the trigger is just going to be your keyword. Um, so you so go to add trigger, and it's going to start whatever that is. So here's keywords, right? Same thing right there, same, same process. And, and at that point, you kind of set it up however you want to. So there I clicked on it. And now what do I want it to be, right? This is going to be what triggers this flow. So let's say uh, I want this thing now, right? So I'm going to copy this. And I'll, and I'll show you why a little bit later. Um, so I'm copying it, and now it's activated. So I'm going to hit publish. And now if you go back to keywords, you kind of see I want this thing now. Is uh, Anytime anybody uh, types that in, it's going to open up that flow that I created. Right? The other thing to keep in mind here specifically is that if you put commas, that's the end of whatever this keyword is to many chat. So you kind of see I put thank you, comma, thanks, comma, THX, comma. So if I was if I wanted to put like first name, I want comma, I want that thing, it's only gonna think of it as first name and of that keyword, I want that thing, next keyword. Um, so it's not gonna work. So keep that in mind if you're having issues with your Facebook ad not connecting to many chat, it could be that. Um, so I typically don't use commas uh, whenever I'm doing anything. Like you see, there is a, obviously a question mark if you want to do that or exclamation point, but do not put a comma. Um, so keep that in mind. So now, all right, you, you copied this, right? So this is going to be that trigger um, that's going to start my, my test flow or basically what I want people to see after I, um, I get them to click on the app. Um, so, so I copy that. So I've got, I want this thing now exactly how it's going to be typed in, exactly how it's going to be set up so it connects with ManyChat. I copy that. And next, I'm going to go into Facebook Business Manager to get the next part. All right, so now I'm in Facebook Business Manager. And uh, you can set this up. Uh, you can hit Create Campaign and uh, create a new ad. And then you're, uh, you're, it's going to look like this. Or uh, it can also look slightly different. There's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, it's pretty much the same thing, though, in terms of how, it, how you can set it up. So in terms of the objective, ob objective, um, usually messages is what people will do. You can also have it be conversions and then change it when you actually get into it. You kind of see conversions as another one to, mess to Messenger. So it's basically the same kind of thing. Um, there's other weird ways to do it. But in general, these are the two that you're going to use. Um, so there's obviously campaign, there's ad set, and then there's ads. Um, today I'm talking to you more about how to actually connect it and, and connect ManyChat and Facebook ad. Um, so I'm not going to really focus on that as much. One thing I will say is the campaign is basically about like money, about what type of objective you're going to have. You kind of see these different ones here. Um, and, and the ad set is more about who you're targeting. Um, so you kind of see like here, here. if I was to do those conversions, I would have it as a messenger. Um, and then you're, you're, here's, you also have the option of setting a budget. Um, in some instances, there's other ways to do it if you're doing something else called campaign budget optimization. Um, that's a different way to do it. Um, but here, we're just setting it up normally. Um, and you can kind of set your budget. You can set your start end date, um, who you're targeting. Um, if you have a custom audience, look like audience, all those kinds of things, you can set that up here. Where do you want a, uh, the placements to go? 
So all of those kinds of things are on the add set level. And then uh, the last step is the add level. And that's where you're gonna set up um, uh, the ad itself. So what they're going to see. So if you have an Instagram account um, you, you know, that's connected, you can use that page as well. Um, and then you're gonna set up the actual ad. So if you have an image, right, um, you're gonna add that in here. Um, so uh, make sure that usually I will do it uh, a 1080 by 1080, which is best on mobile. Um, uh, there's other ways to do it as well. Um, you can also use other tools to make sure that the image doesn't have too, many, too much text. Um, and you kind of go through that and then you would set up your text. Obviously, like I would recommend when you're doing ads, not to come up with your text and your, your copy um, here. You wanna, you wanna take time away and figure out what your copy is gonna be and just dump it all in um, so you can set it up and quickly. So I'm not really talking about that stuff here today. Um, it's just more how to connect it and get it set up. So, all right, hopefully you've got your, your awesome text. Yeah, uh, you've got your awesome headline, you've got your image or video, whatever it is that you're setting up and your, your call to action. Um, so that you see the different ones here. Um, a lot of times if you're doing it with Messenger, uh, then you'll either do learn more or send message. Uh, just so it aligns for the call to action. And you can kind of, you see there's a whole bunch of different options as well. Um, so, all right, so you've got that stuff set up, right? Now you're going to take, remember back here under ManyChat with the keyword, I, had, I want this, one, this thing now, right? That was the trigger. So now what I'm going to do is go to Start Conversations and I'm going to edit. And I'm going to, from here, you see Customer Actions. I'm going to change this to Quick Reply. Um, so at that point, I can make it be whatever I want for the reply to be. So um, if I was, so th in, in this right here, quick reply one is where I'm gonna paste in what I just copied. So I want this thing now, right? That's what I was saying before. Um, so what's great is you can also personalize it. So here I've got hi Douglas, right? Or hi first name, so it's hi Jill, hi Joan, whatever. Um, it's gonna auto populate that. And then um, what do you want them to answer with the affirmative, right? So they're gonna click on it. So um, would you, Say I was doing a giveaway or something. Would you uh, want this great thing? And waiting for it to finish. <laughs> All right, so you kind of see like how it's gonna look like over here. So I want this, so, hey Douglas, want this great thing? Yes, I want, I want this thing now, right? That's gonna be, so they're gonna see a button. You kind of see like right here. Um, when they get, when they see the, the, uh, the Facebook ad, they're going to see this come up and it's going to look like that when they, so they're going to click on the ad, right? Which you've already set up. Uh, and then when they click on that, they're going to have this as an option. And then it's going to take them to many chat and that flow that you've already set up. Uh, so then you're going to save it, save and finish. And then you can, you kind of see here, it says like preview and messenger. Um, so I would want to do that and then you kind of see obviously it's been sent there to messenger and at that point it should show up in messenger I'm going to take a second just to double check it so it works right so really simple to set up that shouldn't take much time at all um, so hopefully you understand now so so set it up in many chat uh, so pay attention to your flow pay attention to the keyword automation uh, copy that trigger that you set up Go into Facebook Business Manager uh, and set up your ad. Uh, obviously, you want to set up your campaign, your ad set, figure out all that stuff, figure out your copy, add that all in. And then you want to make sure that you're going to go back here and you're going to set up uh, that template and set it up. And what's great about this as well is that if you want to change out the flow in the future, uh, you can do that and you can keep your social group. So if you have accumulated a lot of comments on your ad, um, or like like likes or uh, any of that kind of stuff where it's gonna lead to better conversions um, uh, in terms of your ad. Whenever you're trying to test something new, uh, then what sucks is that you lose all that social proof. But it, obviously you wanna make sure it aligns because you can't do something like, hey, hey, you want this free giveaway thing and then you're gonna sell them something else that has absolutely nothing to do with that. That doesn't make sense. But let's say you're, you're, you're testing something that's similar but you wanted to try a different form of copy um, on your flow or anything like that. 
Well, you can just swap out something else here, right, under the keywords. Uh, you can have it go to a different flow, or you can edit that flow um, so that it's going to take it to something different and then look at the data and see how it, how it comes up, right? So by doing it this way with this keyword automation connection, you're able to see that social proof where you couldn't do it if you're doing it otherwise. So it is a great extra bonus by doing it this way. So if you're looking for more tips on how to take control over your e-commerce income, then click the link below for a free cheat sheet. I also have a free Facebook group, Amazon Seller Secrets. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to grow your list and build a real brand. All right, talk to you next time. All right.